I am Deborah Wall, and I've been very fortunate these past 18 years, almost, to be the director of the Pembroke Public Library. I realized I loved books as far back as I can remember. I really can't remember a time when I did not love books. The highlight of my childhood was actually visiting the local branch of the Boston Public Library, and we did that once a week. So when I wanted to become a librarian, it's a tricky question. I was in the library club in high school, so that's probably when it really started to gel into something I really wanted to do. If you look at my resume, and people have made comments that it looks very circuitous, there was a period of my life where I sort of rebelled against the idea of being a librarian. I don't know why, but I went to college and I studied criminal justice, and my goal was to become a police officer. I actually interviewed for several jobs for that. Uh, that didn't work out. I became an EMT for a number of years, and then libraries called me back. It felt like a magical fit. My favorite part of my job is the people. It's always the people. It's talking to the Pembroke residents, it's helping them get what they need, whether it's a book or, or maybe a, uh, a shopping cart that would help them pick their books easier and get around the library easier. Uh, bringing in a new program or something, uh, introducing them to a new online resource that we have. It's always the people. And of course, the other part of the people scene would be our staff. Working with my staff is a great joy every day. I've got a great staff and they work really well together and they too love helping people. So it's, we're all on the same page, if you will. The biggest challenge, especially in this day and age, is always money. And that's because there's never enough of it, quite obviously, but things are changing. And some of the things that we need to offer to people that they are asking for are far more costly than a simple paperback book. Our online resources cost thousands of dollars, for instance, and people don't quite realize that. Um, an electronic book, an ebook that people really want to download from Overdrive. Okay, that's great, we love to provide that and I understand that, but we don't get those discounts. So an ebook, when we buy an ebook, can cost $90. When we buy a hardcover book, we get it for $17. The difference is pretty astronomical and it has a huge impact on our budget. But things change all the time and we enjoy that. I think libraries really step up and thrive on that and libraries always have. Libraries have been serving people since, I don't know, what, 15, 1600s? Earlier, actually, the Library of Alexandria was much older than that. But in America, hundreds of years. And we've always adapted, and we've always met the needs of the communities. So we're good at that. But sometimes it's a challenge. Either you don't have enough of the cash flow, you don't have enough staff. There's always enough, enough there's not enough. But we challenge each other, and we step up, and we get the job done. When I think back to my childhood, it's really hard to pinpoint one particular book. What I remember most loving are books like Black Beauty, of course. Nature and the, the love of creatures and getting to know the creatures. The other books that I recall really gravitating towards are the Hardy Boys books because they are they were there. They were somewhat controversial when I was a child, but they were there and I enjoyed them and you got to know the characters. So for me, getting to know the characters is very important. Enjoying the characters is very important, and that still holds true today. Our most recent service we've offered is passports. We started doing passports for people in December. It has been a very popular program, and I'm adding more staff that are trained agents, so it's great that people are taking advantage of that and we really want it to survive and thrive and offer that. Um, other than that, we're always offering new events and summer readings coming up soon. There'll be lots of fun things going on for summer reading and there's always things going on. And if people want to know that, I really advise them to check our website, sign up for our newsletters because we're always promoting our events that way. What a librarian's reading is always a tricky question because it changes all the time. I read most often fantasy books, so what I would recommend right now is D.B. Jackson's Times Children. There are new ones coming out in the fall. I really loved the characters. He's a wonderful universe builder, and that's, again, very important to me. You really need to 
to understand the characters and, and care about what happens to them. The other books I read, and this surprised me somewhat, I've been really reading a lot of mysteries, but they're, um, I would say they're, so, they're not the big, heavy, suspense, political mysteries. They are the more fun, get to know the characters kinds of mysteries. So Victoria Thompson is probably one of my most favorite mystery authors. Her series, Gaslight, um, is a wonderful series. This is her newest series though, and I have to try this now. I haven't read this yet. But if you love mysteries, the Gaslight series is really wonderful. It's set in the 1800s. You get to know the characters. You get to know the city of New York. It's a, it's a great read. And this will not be a surprise, Mysteries About Libraries. This series, Jen McKinley's series, the, the lead character is a library director in a very small town. And she finds herself in all kinds of adventures and situations that I'm glad I do not find myself in. But uh, it's an enjoyable series. Again, you get to know the characters. Um, and I can identify with some of the situations, but happily not all of them. I'm Deborah Wall and libraries are more than words.